Hey guys, this is Rising Dressing here, bringing you on a crossfire beer my review. And today it is Forged CV26, Forged Dragon. And now let's set him off to the side and take a look at his packaging really quick. You have a nice graphic of Forged Dragon here. And here's his user, Novo Moru. The Force Core, a couple of shots of the Force Core. And CV26, Control Type, Force Dragon, Professor Beatman logo, Takaratumi, WBMA, and here's just the game that you can play. And here is the Gravity Arms Attach. Gravity Arm, he's gonna say. So, um, we'll show you this. And here's the customization. The core is in the Force Core, it is the Metal Force Core. And the Shukurochi's legs and the stabilizer's legs. Here is all combined, all combined, and the metal force core itself. If you guys think it's the force core, it's not a force core. It is a metal force core. <coughs> and show down the stats. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let's try to focus this. Okay, um, three power, seven control, and four rapid five. This is the cores you can change with: spin core, fourth core, and the roll core. Now, um. Pretty cool, and I accidentally lost the tool, and it only comes with the extra tool, so um, we'll just set this off to the side. It is a yellow tool, very small, and this is for Dragon itself. It is changed from the originals. It is changed to the original. It it came with covered pieces and the arcade leg and some barrel attachments. But in this version, it doesn't come with anything. It only comes with a random tool. So, uh, yeah. And it's a control type. As you can see, this is the horn they can aim with. Let me just try to do this. Yeah. And now we'll set me to dress up. And we'll play at the... Um, rapid fire, uh, my, my field. Yeah, we're just gonna test this with Dragon. So, um, I'm just gonna put two targets. So, um, Brendan is not with me here today, so, um, yeah. Let me just put the camera a little bit front. And, um, and moving this beat them all. Here, as you can see, it's target. It is lining up the target. Better. Okay. Um. Let's just put the camera up. Say so, okay. So um, three, two, one, B five. Yeah, it knocks it down, and it does come with one light marble. It really does some um, action. Does do some accuracy because of this tape. That's why it is not really that accurate. Let's keep the CV horn here. Yeah, it's quite accurate. So now let me show you. Um, oh, in uh, I forgot to mention this hole is you can put an extra bolt, but I don't want to put extra bolt. And you can just take this out and reposition it down. Let me just um, touch it. Okay. And what it does is you can set all your fingers here and fire. It does add more control. You can see here. Yeah, it does add more control because I accidentally moved the beat on. So, um, very cool beat on with the arms attached. And <laughs> these are the. Um, Forces that you can make the shot more stable and more control, and yeah, the power block is more different than the originals. You can see this below part, and the legs is a little bit more bigger. I was I was supposed to say that just now. So um, yeah, very cool beat em on. I recommend you get a control type if you don't have this beat em on, any beat em on. So um. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Remember to rise up and goodbye.